Nine months after it was promised, the federal government has laid out new gun control legislation. It includes a buyback program for banned assault-style weapons and allowing municipalities and cities to ban handguns. But beyond those broad strokes, there is very little detail. As Mercedes Stevenson reports, that includes how much it will all cost. The tableau in Ottawa of the Prime Minister joined by key members of Cabinet sets a scene that underscores the political importance of the gun control message for the Liberal government. But let's not forget what this is about, saving lives. Following through on a campaign promise, Trudeau announced a new bill with a range of measures. The bill promises a gun buyback program tougher penalties for smuggling or trafficking guns, makes it easier for police to seize them, and will allow cities to ban handguns. The buyback program will be optional, not mandatory. While the guns are illegal, some will still be out there. I feel betrayed. Something gun control advocates say guts the legislation. The only way we could have really changed the picture in Canada would be to have a mandatory buyback, to have something permanent and to have a permanent impact. Bloc Québécois leader Yves-François Blanchette won't support the bill due to the optional buyback, which he says makes the, the position, the law, under many regards, useless. The government estimates there are between 100 and 200,000 now prohibited firearms in Canada, but officials don't know much about them. We actually had no information and have no information about who owns them and where they're located, or even what makes and models are out there. There was also no official estimate of how much legal gun owners will be compensated or what the program will cost. But Public Safety Minister Bill Blair spitballed three to four million if the government pays an average of $1,300 per gun. The Canadian Sports Shooting Association says that's a vast underestimate. We're looking at probably in business inventory in Canada, somewhere between three and five billion dollars of inventory in Canada. Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole accused the government of targeting the wrong people and questioned how the measures will stop illegal guns like the ones used in the Nova Scotia massacre from entering Canada. Mr. Trudeau misleads people when he tries to suggest that, that buying things back from hunters and, and other Canadians who are law-abiding is somehow going to solve the problem of of shooting and criminal gang activity. Why the federal government is leaving it to cities to ban handguns when they are the number one firearm used in homicides in this country is unclear.